Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I told you guys earlier I'd make a video relating to uh, Blabber's hybrids and some of the issues with them. Um, the one that I'm holding right now, this was sold to me as a purebred Blabber Ciscoid Alice. This entire colony was actually. And I've recently, uh, within the last couple months, found that they are not. This one here was this very regular kind of um, trapezoidal you know, pronotum marking, that's normal, that's exactly what you're looking for. But these guys are starting to get some irregular kind of markings on them. And this is a fairly, you know, this this isn't very much of an alert. Like, if I saw this in my colony, I wouldn't be too thrown off by it, but I'm starting to see a lot like this, and that's where the problem lies. When you start to see a lot of uh, different pronotum markings, you can start to you know, look at them, look at their sizes, the way they kind of breed super fast compared to other discoids. And you're almost uh, guaranteed that you have a colony of hybrids at that point. Um, this one's got a really odd pronotum markings. And a lot of these hybrids have a lot of problems in molting properly. You can see these wings are all boogered up. Um, that's because it didn't molt out well. And these are not kept in any different kind of an environment that I keep my regular discoids in. So this colony is eventually going to be destroyed because I have no need for hybrids. They're kind of a, kind of the, you know, thing you, you don't want to have them in the hobby. They just mess everything up. You don't want to sell what you think is a purebred to somebody for their pure, purebred colony and then you ruin their entire bloodline. So these guys, like I said, were sold to me as pure. Obviously they're not. This is a really messed up pronotum. Um, and there's a couple of them in here that have that same kind of marking. That's a good indicator that these are not legitimate purebred discoid Alice. Um, ones that like the, like this, like that, that's pretty normal. It's not too outrageous, but it's pretty large and a little irregular. And the shape and the size of the roach is good, so it's really hard to distinguish that. Um, every once in a while, I get a freakishly huge one in this colony, and that's another way that. You know, you can kind of just figure that that's not normal. That's not a normal discoid. That's not how they grow. They're not that big. So that's a good indicator that you have hybrids. This little tiny container here, these are my new purebred discoid Alice. Um, I got them from someone um, that had them tested for pur purity before they sold them, which is the absolute best way to deal if you know somebody's getting their roaches tested and you can actually trust that person. That's who you should be dealing with. So this pronotum marking, perfectly regular, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for a nice shape, you know, and all of these roaches will be almost the exact same size. So let me uh, find another one in here to show that. Okay, this is a fat female here. And really regular pronotum marking. Get back in there. Little leg hooks are hard to get off sometimes. Another one burrowed down here. Let's see, that's uh, again the perfectly regular pronotum marking. That design is what you're looking for, that exact pattern. If it doesn't have that, it's likely not a discoid, it's unlikely a hybrid of some sort. So that's what you're looking for. And like I said, if you have a couple in your colony that don't like that, it's not that big a deal. But if you're starting to see a lot, like this has probably 40 or 50% of the colony having really weird pronotum markings, very good indicator that these are hybrids. These guys, all perfectly regular, all exactly the same. Uh, you know, very, very slight variation, not enough to put any red flags up. These guys are purebred, and they're not going to change from that. They'll always breed like that, they'll always have the same markings, always be about the same size as well. These guys, Different sizes, different uh, pronotum markings, even different colors on their pronotum, which is really bizarre for discoid hybrids. Um, like I said before, there are uh, Fusca and um, Coronifer hybrids, and those are the ones that people think are Giganteus hybrids and stuff. Giganteus can't hybridize with any other roach. Look at my website. Um, it's It can't happen. There's a study on there as well that shows that. And the... Discoids here are hybridized, I believe, with uh, Bolivianensis, 
and the Fusca hybrids are Fusca and Chronifer and Fusca and uh, Peruvianensis, I think it is, or something like that. I forget the exact names of those, but all the information is on my website if you guys want to check that out. These guys, like I said, they're going to be cold off. They're going to be um, fed off and destroyed. I don't like hybrids. I don't want them in my house. I don't need them. I don't want them in the hobby. It's best to have pure bred roaches because, I mean, you actually see a little some mating behavior there, flapping the wings, trying to get one of the females to go up under there so he can hook it with the genital hooks. Anyway, um, you don't want hybrids. All they do is muddy the uh, already kind of murky waters of the uh, Blabrous genus anyway. They're kind of a mess, so it's best to keep them as pure as possible. Now, I can't stress that enough. If you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and comment on the uh, YouTube site or my website. All right, see you later.